Well, I think our offense first is going to have to warm up really strong. We're going to have to bring a lot of energy and warm up because that's going to directly correlate how we're going to play in the game. And it's Friday night, so that's going to help get the energy up. I know we're, we always get excited for Friday night games, and we tend to have a little more fans out here. So just do what we normally do and warm up, do our routine, and just try to come out with as much energy as possible. Um, is there any changes you've made? Any changes your uh, offense, like offensive setup, has made since the last couple of games? Um, it's no, it's pretty much the same. Um, we've gone over a, a few tweaks with our uh, outside forwards, try to get them wide earlier, and try to get them attacking um, first thought instead of going back. So. If we implement that, I think we're going to have a good attacking game. Saw Milwaukee in the spring. How much can you take from a spring game now into the fall? Um, I think you you can take a lot from that. I forget if I got to play in that game. I know I was injured um, throughout the spring a little bit. But I know they beat us. They're a strong team, and we can't take them for granted. So we remember a few of the girls. So, uh, I mean... Just do what we normally do. It's just like any other team. And certainly, uh, you know, your fitness has never been questioned, but three games in six days now leading into the Big Ten, uh, you're know, just keeping that level of competition going. Uh, oh, what's, yeah. what's the high, most important thing about that? Well, we got Tuesday off, so that was supposed to replenish our legs and get our mental strength back in it, give us a break from soccer for a little bit. So I think, I think we're all ready to go and just – Stay hydrated. Um, I know near the, the last couple of minutes of those games, cramping starts to happen for some of us. So get some electrolytes. And it's really just getting enough sleep and preparing like every game. And you played West Virginia last year. Do you remember much about? Um, I remember um, they, they beat us too, I think, last year. Um, so we're going to want some revenge from West Virginia. Um, I don't think. We can take too much from last year because it's a different team now and we're a different team. We play differently and I'm sure they play differently. So again, we just want our revenge. Um, well, we know we have to get a good warm up. It's really important for us to like, get that first win and like get through that. So I feel like if we do that, we should come out on top. With four assists last weekend, were there some strategical changes that you made to kind of set you up on the flank like that to really get those crosses into good scoring territory? I I don't think so. I think um, at the beginning of the year I was playing like offensive center mid, so he he put me out wide, which I guess more, I guess is more strategical. So that probably helped us get more offense and stuff. So I mean I'm happy wherever he plays me, but um, yeah, this is definitely a good spot for me right now. Certainly, you're no stranger to scoring goals, but does it feel better? Does it have uh, more enjoyment when you set up a goal for a teammate? Um, yeah, I think so. I mean, it's always cool when you get to score them, but when you have multiple assists and stuff, like, it just feels great, like you contributed. So it's all that matters to me. Is that something you like, you're looking forward, looking forward to in this game? Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> anything to win. So, yeah, if I have to put the ball in the net, I'll do it. If I have to assist, I'll do it. It's whatever goes. And like we asked Hadley, uh, just a busy stretch, three games in six days uh, going up until Wednesday. What's the most important thing in keeping the body healthy during that stretch? Um, definitely when you get your time off, actually take it off. Don't go crazy and like, oh, I have a day off from soccer. I can do anything. No, like take your day off, hydrate, um, prepare for your next game and get it done. I was looking at the statistics and your team does very well when you score first. Is that something that's um, very important to you, getting um, I guess it is for us to do well. I um, I don't really know about all the statistical mm -hmm. stuff about it, but now that I know that, I guess it's really important. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what, we've been creating certainly enough opportunities, and um, you know, it's, it comes down to a focus. We've certainly done a lot of repetition. In addition, we're trying to uh, be able to change up some of the patterns of the way we attack. I think we've relied a lot on Alex Harrison and Hadley Stewart's 1v1 capability to uh, go forward. And so we're looking to try to bring in other players, trying to get our outside backs to join the attack, attacking mids, and be able to combine the ball a bit more through midfield. That's going to be a work in progress over the next several weeks. But we're trying to add that little twist into things before we go into
to the Big Ten season because we're going to face some more athletic defenders, certainly in that, in the Big Ten season, but certainly as well over the next three matches. So I think we need to be able to alter things up a little bit. You definitely want to play to your strengths, but at the same time you want to have a couple of alternatives as well. Um, I've noticed, I've looked, I've looked at some games in the box scores, and uh, your team does pretty well when you score first. And um, how important is scoring first to your well, certainly you um, you save yourself both the mental and physical energy of chasing the game, and that's that's dramatic. And because you find yourself behind, especially early on, you put so much energy and effort into finding a way back into the game. Um, you know, it's um, it, it just taxes you, and it taxes you not just for the single game that you're playing, but for the subsequent games that you you have coming up. So um, for us, you know, trying to get early and get a good positive early start to the game, um, you know, I think is essential. And the games that we've struggled in, if you take a look at Butler, if you take a look at Eastern Illinois, mm -hmm. um, matches where they've been very, very close, we didn't finish chances that we had early in the game. And so, you know, it's certainly something that, you know, we talk about and we train, but at the same time as a coaching staff, you don't want to harp on it. You don't want to put pressure on the kids in front of the net. You want to keep them at ease and, you know, um, you know, pretty uh, loose and laid back in a, in a confident mindset. In including Central Michigan on Wednesday, would you consider this one of the toughest three-game stretches of the season, the experience these three teams have? Without a doubt. You know, certainly maybe not uh, three years ago when we set the schedule up, uh, it might not have been the way it is. But uh, when you look at the, uh, you know, the, the talent that Wisconsin-Milwaukee has returning, they don't have the results this year, but we played them this spring, and we, I know that they have a really a lot of talented players returning and a lot of experience, NCAA tournament experience, as well as uh, just the champion of the, champ or the uh, Horizon League. You know, they've got that mentality. You add that to uh, West Virginia, which is a very athletic side in addition to a team that's already knocked off the number one team in the country you know in Stanford and then uh, you look at Central Michigan and uh, they've had fantastic results this is this is their year you know they, they've got a, a depth of talent a senior leadership goal scoring capability a large roster that they you know they put a lot of pressure on people so certainly for us this is a fantastic opportunity for us to test ourselves prior to going into the Big Ten season